And new at nine, a boost for Sunset Hills residents tonight battling to pull the plug on a proposed million and a half gallon water tank right behind their homes. Tonight, the boost from the DNR and a new push to try and oust the mayors who supported this deal. That's tonight, so you paid for it. I've been tracking the citizens' battle against the proposed Sunset Hills water tower since residents first called me in January. The water company wants to build a proposed 1.5 million gallon water tower right behind their houses to replace the smaller one there now. State Representative David Gregory, who represents Sunset Hills, got the Missouri Department of Natural Resources involved, which has to okay it. While DNR has not decided whether the proposed water tower meets clean water standards yet, in a new letter to Gregory, it did say it did not have the final word on whether the project goes forward. Is the department saying that Sunset Hills has the right to deny the permit to build this water tower? Yes, the, according to the Department of Natural Resources Council, both the Department of Natural Resources and the municipalities independently approve uh, for this project, and it's necessary for both of their independent approvals to proceed. I saw that DNR letter that said both approvals are independently necessary for this project to proceed as proposed. DNR's letter is encouraging for Angie Weigel, who first called me for help in January. The new tower would be right behind her house. I'm really thankful that they've taken the time to really thoroughly look at everything. Alderwoman Christine Lieber is Angie's main ally on the board of aldermen. Lieber hopes DNR's position means the beginning of the end for this deal. According to their legal department and legal counsel, um, both approvals are independently necessary for this project to, to proceed as proposed. And right now, Sunset Hills has not approved it. Correct. And don't, don't really plan to. No. But not all Sunset Hills officials are on the same page. Mayor Pat Freebus broke a tie vote back in January to allow the tower project to go forward. The majority of aldermen later did an about face and voted against it. The mayor didn't, so Alderman Lieber announcing a big step. The mayor hasn't joined your side. No, she's still for the water tower. So you're going to run against her? I am going to run against her. You're going to try to drive the final nail in this deal if you become mayor? Yes. That election next April, Mayor Pat Freebus didn't return my call for a comment. For Angie Weigel, victory finally in sight. A far cry from when she first called me to spotlight the battle of the water tower. It has brought this to the public's eye. It has made my voice be louder. Before this, it was four neighbors talking. And now I have hundreds of people that are on my side. Well, everyone told me to call you, Elliot. <laughs> um, they said that you listen to people and that you really care about what happens. And, you know, it's true. So even though DNR says the city has the power to act on its own, both sides still waiting for DNR to decide whether or not the project is safe. Of course I'll let you know and stay on top of this deal. After all, you paid for it.